I'm wrong. It's been a while. You can't jump when you're on the ice. No, you can't. No. Uh, that that. Uh, fu funny thing. Um, one of the few things that Spyro 4 got right, you can jump on the ice in that game. <laughs> Uh, well, in this game, like, NTSC and, like, how, like, differences? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't really be able to tell you that, uh, much. Um, I, I do, what I do know, uh, is that uh, there's a, okay, so, they, um, wanted the game to be, to be released on the actual, like, Year of the Dragon, and because of that, the original release is, um, is a bit buggy, so what they did is, they, the Greatest Hits version for US, uh, fixes a lot of those issues, including a potentially game-breaking bug in the speedways, uh, whereas in the, in the original, uh, if you do a speedway and don't do all the tasks, uh, you'd potentially be locked out on getting the remaining eggs or objectives. So, really? Yeah, from what I've heard. Um, <laughs> huh. So... Yeah. But, um, I think I had Greatest Hits. Yeah, Greatest Hits is the one you, you want to own. I had the PSN version. Lucky me. Well, I mean... <laughs> Uh, the, P the, the PSN version, for some reason, is the original release, because it's, it's the other version. Hmm? Yeah, it has the It has the Yeah, it has the... some of the old bugs, and it also, like I said earlier, it re completely removes the cutscene before the third boss, which is actually really... the wrong music. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, in the original release, they also have wrong music for some areas as well. So basically, it's a buggy match. Yeah. <laughs> Spiral um, 4 was the best point, say? Huh? Spiral 4 was the best point, say? Hmm? Spiral 4 was Spiral 4? No. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, the, the, the Platinum Hits version isn't quite as good as uh, Greatest Hits because there are still some missing music tracks. But it, it does fix most of the main issues, like the whole, like the speedway thing, and general bugs like that. And uh, it does keep, uh, and the missing cutscene is here. But yeah. The Wait, I don't think this is the one where like the disc does not have like any color on it, right? Uh, I don't know. Cause like um, cause, like my version. Cause, like some of the discs that like like the, like the labeling is like has like full color on it, but sometimes it doesn't. Mm. I think I I I think it's supposed to be green, uh, the scary one anyway. Oh, and oh, hello there. I'm <laughs> Yeah, this is a, this is a cool level. Uh, it has some. Cool ah. little platforming and stuff, and you do some cool things with the cannons. I wonder if it's all cool. Lol. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make a pun, I swear. I. Bye. Bye, I won't turn it to like crash two places with all the damn bear puns. <laughs> That like tainted that whole place for us, bro. I don't even know if it started. It. I don't know. You were Joey or Lewis? Yeah. Oh. Well. I I might as well just keep the camera to a uh, passive, to be honest, because I don't want to have to keep on changing it. Well, just look like half the mode you control it yourself. Huh? Uh, uh, well, uh, the, the difference is just, uh, uh, active moves that come faster, I believe. Uh. Besides that, it's pretty much the same thing. 
So if anything, this will be better for Scrappy's health. <laughs> what now? A, a motion sick or something? Yeah, he. There's a figure spire too. Uh, he got motion sick quite a lot. Hey, it's Maynard. What are you doing now, Harry? I. I <laughs> no, I. I. I I, I'm, ju I'm just saying, like, I may as well just keep the camera to passive, be because uh, I don't have to keep changing it every every time we go into a, a Sergeant Bird area. I thought the TNT boxes had gems in them. Uh, I don't think they do. Oh, 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 uh, but yeah, you got a lot of uh, sparks. Uh, yeah. just picking up Into the mini bags area. Hmm? Mini bags go right over there. Yeah. How did you get back there? That's a good question. Let me shoot him. <laughs> Don't make that an achievement in this. I'm but my but my vest is bulletproof. Oh, uh, oh man, that should have been a skill point. That would have been hilarious. I'll make it an achievement in the Reignited Trilogy. Mark my words. Oh, yes. I wonder what kind of stuff going to do, actually, with not basic stuff. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, uh, I have, I've had this on my mind the past couple of days. I wonder if the, they actually, like, will, like, keep the skill point system in. Because it, I hope <laughs> they do, because otherwise, uh, how are you going to get the airport? Oh. Keep it for the sake of the epilogue, maybe add some yeah. more for achievements. Yeah. Yeah, probably achievements and all that. Yeah, it, it, they'll probably like have it on the achievement list, but still, it, they, they'll still act like skill points, I guess. That's fair enough. Yeah, hmm. but I, I, I just... I, I, I just love uh, Sparks as a just as, as a concept just because um, most free three D platformers or just three D games in general have have it so you have to collect every collectible yourself and walk up to them. Uh, Sparks makes you I guess be a bit more lazy and just kind of walk around stuff. By the way, I always I always say no first the money back to see what he says. Yeah, he says some pretty funny stuff. Uh, yeah, I yeah, might, um, I might, I might do that in the reignited playthrough, but uh, yeah, I'm not doing that here for the oh, sake of time. One. Hmm. This one, you gotta protect for the from the hockey players. Yeah. And these hockey players are ruining hockey players. Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner, some courageous. Was she named after Nancy Kerrigan? No, <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, Could you get ice even ice more of yes? These mean Rhinek hockey players keep hogging the ice, and all I want to do is dance. Thanks, let's go! I wonder if these are the same hockey. Let me see here. Uh, do, they, do these guys have the same design? Is what? Are you talking about like, the hockey player in 2? Yeah, like, is this the same no, like, no. character what design? On him. Huh? Any more detail. Uh, Different design. Okay. What's the Ryan? Uh, 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 yeah, these guys are Rhinos. Ah, stop going away. Yeah, you you you, you just kind of want to stay like right right next to us. You the uh, you can look down the ice to help you when I come from above. Yeah. Thank goodness for the reflections on the ice. They yeah. come in pretty quickly, so be careful. They yeah they do come in pretty fast. They attack the moment they get up to her. Yeah. Uh, no! Ah, oh, dang it! Oh. Biscuit. <laughs> you got me saying that. It's okay. It didn't hurt as much as it looked. Let's try again. No, it just it didn't hurt as much as it looked. <laughs> that... <laughs> Well, they, they make him look more like Comic Relief. But like... No, it just... That was just funny, like... Me and Scrappy were just like, ah! And then, like, a second that's, uh, later, he was just like... 
biscuit. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, 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 I'm about right. to smack you. Sound like Team <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's uh, not fail spectacularly. Sounds like these are making me really glad they don't. Excuse me, it's times like these that make. Yeah, what am I trying to say? It's times like these that makes me really glad they don't tie your life system to these missions. Uh, okay. Okay, what's happening there? Uh, she's just getting in the way of the flame breath. So I need to, like, move somewhere else. That's her usually. Yeah. You know what would make this minigame better? If your fire could hurt her. Is that sarcasm? Yes. Yeah, nightmare. <clears throat> what? Ain't trying to stay ahead of where she is, where she's going. Yeah. Because, like, because of the line, it's like off screen. Yeah. And, uh. I feel like it's all little rhythms how they come out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't had the, uh, really, uh, memorized this, so. From previous playthroughs. It's done, done yet. Yay, it's the end call. Yay! More of the roses. Where's the audience? This is my best performance ever. I guess one of the judges. I've been getting smacked three times. It must have been the judge. Mm -hmm. Cerny. That, ha like that has to be a reference to Mark Sony. Yeah. Especially with yeah, the glasses, definitely. though. Hey, it's turning. Mm. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, because they do have gems. Okay. Okay. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna have to go back. Oh! <laughs> no, okay. That should be good enough for now. If we need to blow up more, uh, we can just loop around. Because... Again, you... Oh, okay, the end of the stage is just over here. So let's just talk to this guy. Hey, hey, I put up ice blocks this morning so Bab wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try out Dick. the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. Wait, you've been using this to catch... You've been using Jet to catch fish? <laughs> you stupid oh. people. I'd be traumatized too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, feel free to use our gondola whenever you want. You can even use. Uh, okay, that's one thing where you went. <laughs> yeah, you, I think you, you missed just... some gems in the back, Harry. Yeah, no, I'm, ju I'm just uh, showing this off. This is, this is just a way to, um,. Like, uh, get to the just, start. This is just the sky's loading time. In a sense, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember on the Sea Sprain run, I, I, uh, ended up missing a few gems on, on this, on this level, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. <laughs> yeah, this is one also the supercharged area. Yeah, there's a supercharged area back down there, I think. Well, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of, se of a sequence break. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I, when we get there. It, it's nothing too crazy, but it's funny. It, it, and we need to do it for a skill point as well, so it's just skill, kill two birds with stuff one stone. Ah, the players are killing actual birds. Lol. Uh, 
Okay, let's just go over here first. Yeah, now we can go over here. I believe I can fly. Ah. Breeze. Yeah. Now go get stuck. Now go have to get. Yeah. Uh, so what do you guys think of this level? Pretty. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I do like that um, the Sparrow games generally l look better and better over time. Because the Sparrow one, well I do like... I do like Sparrow one um, in terms of just like... Uh, was it... Just the the fill of, of it, I guess. But when you just look at look, when you just look at it, it's very barren. Um, whereas like Spyro two and three have a lot more detail in 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 the world. And I don't know. I feel like I feel like just Spyro three is like it's probably one of the best looking PS one games, at least for, at least from what I've seen. Yeah, I'd say that. I mean. Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah, it's like too far. Even if Spyro, even if Spyro's model is kind of old by this point. Yeah. Like, yeah, this was back in a like. Well, you don't want to Spyro one. Hmm. Spyro doesn't have a lot of anyway. You get Spyro one. Yeah. Spyro two, he had like very angry eyes all the time, didn't he? Uh. Uh, he looks about the same, I think. Yeah, I, I swear it's that. Green. Mm. Well, yeah, I'd say this is one of the. I mean, this is one of the best looking PS1 games. I think overall, the cartoony games age the best visually on the uh, system. Yeah. Why Wind Waker looks a lot better than on Twilight Princess. Yeah. Good gracious, yes. Yeah. Like, like, sixth generation is when, uh, like, that uncanny valley for, for realistic games. They don't have that, they don't have, like, that kind of loving blockiness that the fifth gen systems had, but they don't have that HD fidelity yet. Yeah. Like, they're just kind of in the middle. The awkward teen years of polygons. <laughs> Yeah. Never heard about it that way before. Yeah. <laughs> it's not true of all of the quote-unquote realistic games, like uh, Soul Calibur 2 and 3 still look pretty good for their time. Mm -hmm. Even those were kind of stylized to a point. And Twilight Princess still looks all right. Still looks pretty good. For a GameCube game in 2006, it looks good. Okay, I'm gonna cheat it's a little bit. Just when like, it looks better. Oh, you're gonna go for the platform where they... <laughs> Yeah. That is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, and you need to go. You need to go on that platform to get a skill point as well. So yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, because like, what's supposed to happen is supposed to, you're supposed to chase this yellow guy and then the red guy, and the red guy is a lot faster and harder to catch. So you kind of you make this a lot easier for yourself by just getting rid of that guy. He hit him past too, isn't there? Yeah, there's a couple of secrets here. Is this the first Spyro game to have different colored thieves? Um, you know, let me rephrase that. Thieves in different colored robes? Uh, in, well, in terms of like the, uh, the, like the OG Spyro 1 kind of thieves, I believe, so yeah. Oh, here's Spyro 4. Hmm? Do I have, have Spyro 4? It's like, the, uh, the actual, like, not like, not like the mini thieves, I mean like the ones that run in Spyro 4, they were kind of weird. Mm. They're just friendly thieves. Yeah, they're friendly thieves. The level called the Thieves Den. Yeah, the Thieves Den, yeah. It's probably one of the clearer levels. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I vaguely remember that. 
I, I love it when games are just friendly mooks. Also, th this this little secret here is very easy to miss because it took it took me forever to just find that on the seas run because it, it's just barely out of your sight. Okay, so um, we're missing Jam. I think we're yeah, I think we're still missing stuff in her. There's like an ice passage, I think. Okay, yeah, this level sounds more like classic Stuart Copeland and Spyro. Yeah. Play the guitar. Yeah. I think it's down here. Yeah, here we go. Ah, uh, there we are. And I like that, um, unlike Spyro 1, you can, <laughs> you can just uh, activate your supercharge just by, like, just charging on on the arrow for, like, two seconds. Not even that, yeah. like, um, immediately. <laughs> level, by the way. Yeah, we completed it. Well done, Harry. Yay. Keep over the portal. Hmm? Over the portal. Alright. Uh, I've been to cut the triggers here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. You I, mean, I think you can... Okay, so... I think it, I'll... It, 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 if it face the black, if it, if it, if it face the black, then it's a cutscene. Like, yeah. Okay, so hey. it, if the... Okay, so if, it hap if this cutscene happens... No. Yep. Okay, I, w I wonder if this is going to glitch out, because the Seas Brain run had it glitch out pretty badly. Oh gosh. Not so. Uh, well... We'll see what happens. If it doesn't happen, I'll, I'll say. The piranha plant! <laughs> Oh. We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. <laughs> oh. To the rescue! Bang. <laughs> Watch out. Uh, it's not finished yet. Shit! Dang, Hunter's awesome. <laughs> well, I love this. Punch. <laughs> oh, there we go. No, what the hell was that? It's a good thing for you, Hunter was around. <laughs> Look the voices just glitch out at this sure point. No, I would like me to show you. Right. <laughs> out of magic, huh? You let oh, I boy, give you a jump start. Huh. You right. <laughs> hey, why'd you have to scare her off? Oh, uh, that's here earlier? Huh? Sparrow vanished. Uh, I I just Safari just around and he says, "Good, <laughs> <laughs> great." Oh, that's amazing. I don't. Again, this is a disc copy, so <laughs> yeah. How come I don't feel sick anymore? Did that camera switch really help? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, thanks, Harry. Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it? Oh yeah, remember this uh, thing from Spyro 2. That you thing know? looks disgusting. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> How long has Hunter had it in his pockets? Oh, I thought I thought that little like texture was a gem. I don't know why. You have all the gems. Yeah, that's why I was confused. Yeah, and Planet Towers. This is the one where it has the music. Yeah. <laughs> It also has a, a character who coming back from Spyro 2. Yeah. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of sorceress. Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. If you ask me, the statue is much prettier than she is. That was a girl for a moment. This this character is new, right? That one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, um, I guess, uh, 
I hate to beat the beat this dead horse, but uh, yeah, again, un unlike Spyro 2, um, the um, the sorceress herself actually has a um, a relation to the levels and all the stuff going on in them. Yeah, where it's just like we're helping these other worlds with their problem problems. Yeah, yeah, we we said it. Have we beaten this dead horse? <laughs> Yeah, we said it in uh, okay. said, said it quite a lot, uh, inspired too. But like, yeah, uh, Avala was like, um, like Avala was just tearing itself apart. Uh, Reptor himself was just like he didn't do anything. You're just taking advantage of the chaos, I guess. That's the thing, we don't even know, like, the enemies we face in most of the levels, we're not even sure if they're Ripto's minions or just random people there. Yeah, it's- Yeah, like, the, uh, in Spyro 4 and in the GBA games, they're actually- they're, we, can, they, we can tell us his own moves, they're called Rift Talks. Yeah, yeah, cause like, yeah, it's Spyro 4, like, um, kinda does what this- Somehow makes Ripto more of a threat. Yeah, yeah, Spyro 4 actually, uh, makes Ripto a better villain than Spyro 2. <laughs> Which is kind of sad. Like when you're doing something, when um, uh, when Ezra the Dragonfly does something bad, then you there's something wrong. <laughs> uh, but hey, as much as as much of a presence that that Rito lacked in Spyro, hey, it's Gladys. Hey, you monster. <laughs> That's a long person. Yeah. No, as, uh, as much of a presence he didn't have in Spyro too. At least. He kicks that. At least he's a kick-ass boss. Yeah, he's the best boss in the series. At least from the four games I've played. I don't. Uh, I have I. I wouldn't know anything about Legend of Spyro. And 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 then, and and then and then into the Dragonfly's boss is just complete. Like it's just it's just stupid. <laughs> Not what it was. Uh, like. We'll get to it. We'll make it. It, it, yeah, I guess it's a better way to say it. I, I, uh, <laughs> that guy just vanished out of existence. Uh, you gonna? Okay, I was a bit worried there. He's supposed to give me a gem. Uh, but, There's a statue. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have to blow it up. But yeah, uh, Spyro 4 uh, just uses the same idea that this game does. Uh, but instead of Rhinox, it's uh, Reptox. And they, it's just, the general idea is just like, I did <laughs> not, I did not press the button twice, game. Uh, we put the goopy scream in post. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, like, put the Jack and Dax are like, fall, like, falling noise. Like, ah! it's, like, it's like, step one, stay alive. Step two, never think about trying to do something like that again. I love that. Yeah. Uh. Well, uh, are you telling me? <laughs> what the heck? I thought you hit him. Her. I don't know. It. <laughs> Thing. Whee! Like what I was the heck? I thought they def like they deflate like balloons. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I just... I don't know. Again, I'm not... Uh, I'm not asking much when it comes to, like, uh, the Sparrow villains. It's just the fact that, um... What was it? The Sorcerer... The Sorceress and, um... Not, uh, Nasty Nook just have a very sim simple concept in the grand scheme of things. Um, and... Hmm? I thought, I thought you were gonna say, um, I thought you were gonna say, uh, and, wait, well, this, this, I thought you said the, the sorceress and Knuckles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Knuckles is the villain of Sparrow 1. Follow the G, mind yeah, you. Yeah, Knuckles oh, is... Oh, no. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Knuckles the a kid, Nork. Knuckles <laughs> <laughs> uh. the... I can not know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cause, uh, but yeah, uh... Oh, also, this is loud, so, uh, watch it. 
That is really loud for no reason. But... I've had the Sonic Gate sleeping head exams. I'm just gonna shoot the rockets uh, after we've cleaned the area out. Uh, but... Well, there's yes. a level underneath the statue. Yeah. Oh, these guys must go. Do they even do anything to you? Uh, if you're close enough, they shoot something at you, I think. The reason why they're staring at you, they're waiting. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it paranoids me when I kill these guys because of the way they fly off. And, um, like, having the gems just fall off into the abyss. They feel safer to uh, killing with the with killing them with Sergeant Bird, to be honest. Breathlessly awaits my brilliant four-dimensional masterpiece. Just light all the rockets and prepare to be amazed by my genius. Uh, let's take care of this. Yep. <laughs> now let's get deafened uh, two more times. Like, why is that so loud for? <laughs> it's a rocket, I guess. Yeah, but like, what? Then it. It's not loud for when you do it for like chests and stuff. My god, that overbite. Yeah. I know in the uh, uh, OG Crash 2, uh, when you go up from the, um, the unbearable secret path, uh, like when you the, the platform like when the platform breaks the the all the planks, that's also like stupidly loud, and they uh, toned that down for insane. So. Oh man, what's in the heck else? Spyro, uh, you're allergic to Spyro, I guess. <laughs> oh, I put that one. Oh. <laughs> you okay? There's some water. I have water near me. Come <laughs> Let's just get the gem. Get the gems. Not feeling too bad. Ah. Uh, one of the tricks you can do is actually called the Nasty Nork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like that. You, you, there's like a Nasty Nork and a flaming, a, a raging Repto or something like that. A Golden. raging rip just sounds like a... The Golden Crush. Yeah, Golden Crush uh, you get from doing a spinning spinning from a half pipe like four times. Like, left and right, respectively. Girls in a half pipe. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> right, let's just bail so I can get the stuff out. I don't know where that came from. Here comes just kind of happen for me, really. No real rhyme or reason for it. But, um... Uh, th this was kind of brought up before, but, um... Uh, I'm assuming you, um, you played, like, um... Some of the, um... Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, Jason? Yes, I have. I have, um... Underground 1 and 2. Okay. As, as well. My brother had, um, he had Ride, I think, the one that had the skateboard peripheral on the Wii. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I think there's something in here. Yeah, I, I haven't played, um, a, a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game specific specifically, but I, I played the BMX game that uh, Kid Icarus did a video of. So, yeah. Wait, is the music different here? Uh... I wouldn't be surprised. Harry, you should buy Pro Skater 5, it's, uh... Yeah, oh yeah, I should totally play happens. the best game ever. Oh yeah, I think that's... Probably the same music. Oh, I missed this. 
Yeah, I can't remember what Morton Creek was sound like. Uh, what, what? I'll in the background. A sheep? Uh, Why is there a sheep here? Mm. Yeah, you, you literally can't uh, take damage here at all, so I don't know. You've ever seen. <sighs> I guess if you lost Sparks and want to get him back. You score huge points in this place. What do you see? Oh, it's nice to have move. Sparks around to get the gems. Yeah. Uh, what would Let's you... Start with something do you guys know what you would be a good uh, Tony Hawk game to play, like, get in I'll this tight day and age? The early ones. <laughs> Those are the ones that people seem to like the most. Like, and one... you play Spider-Man in one of the PS1 games. Yeah, which one is it? Is that two? I think that's two. I think it was a Shrek oh, costume in Underground too. Doing a roll. You can roll Basically, whoever Activision had the license to at the time. And steering left or right. Uh, Pro Skater Five had Ninja Turtles, Harry. So I guess you got to play it. Oh, uh, Five is the one that's like a glitchy mess, though, isn't it? You played worse. Yeah, but I'd rather have fun. <laughs> hey, nice roll. Now let's see. If you're gonna play Android Dragonfly eventually, you're not having fun. Exactly like rolls. No, I'm not. Well, well, I mean, like you want to have a good impression, first impression. The ramp, hold down the I mean, and push up or down uh, the Android direction. Dragonfly ain't gonna be for at least a year, so that's not gonna be for a while. I especially, I kind of need uh, need a break uh, from Spar, especially. Um, after all wow, this as well. You must be a natural. Now let's see if you can pull off a half. And I just don't have the patience for a game like that right now. Are half pipes. You can do a spin move by jumping at the top of the blue ramp, then steering left or right in the air. But yeah, they, it's just teaching us all the tricks because uh, we we already did uh, did this stuff for the first um, skateboard area to get a skill point. So this is like old to old old news to us, but yeah. And I have the sequence to break everything. Now it's not so much sequence breaking, more so just, Spend two and a half revolutions in I don't know what to call it, because you don't necessarily right. have to do the skill points to beat the game. Oh, I'll, I'll run up and I'll do four rotations. Actually, no, screw it. <laughs> now that was a 900! I have to admit, you've got some yeah, th skills, this uh, skate, uh, skating park is, uh, cocky, gives you the you best opportunities to get on really high points. Ramp. Do whatever moves you want, and see how many points you can get. I completely murdered this on, on the Sea Spring run, so... <laughs> well, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Yeah! Wow, you learn really fast. Then again, you are being. Uh, so, uh, what do you guys think about the skateboard? Speaking of which, I was just practicing not, a not new impossible thing. new move. Yeah. I call the nasty Nork. I had almost pulled it off when I suddenly ran smack into this dragon egg and wiped out. Okay, I made that up, but you can have this egg. I don't remember how you do a nasty Nork or a raging Ripto, though. I. I've done the nasty Nork. Yeah. Hey, think, it's Caroline. I think it's like a lot of flips. I'm thinking mm. you're ready to try some one-on-one -on -one competition. Want to try a freestyle uh, competition for points? Yeah, I, I I quite like the skateboard. It's nice. To, oh, right. It, it's Whoever fun just most uh, trying to get a bunch of points wins. and stuff. Uh, there's a really there's a really annoying mini game at the end of the game though. Hunter's icon looks a little discolored. It looks a bit washed out. Looks pink. Yeah. I, I think uh, me me and um, Scrappy basically um, agreed that uh, uh, seem to agree to um, um, enjoying this more than the motorcycle motorcycle and crash free. <laughs> It helps that these are mostly optional missions. Yeah. Whereas in Crash 3, you're gonna have to at least get the crystal. Oh, yeah! Okay, that was good. No, that's not. Either. It's best to go up here. Get a little high. I think that you don't want to fall any of these, like, Nathan North and all that stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think you've won, Harry. <laughs> nah, I'll say that. I think we need to get more points. Yeah, yeah, uh, this is. If you uh, have good practice just getting a bunch of points, this isn't too too hard. It's more the skill point uh, like, that can be challenging. Like a, uh, or like one of them is like a bunch of, of like front right flip. Toasty twist. <laughs> but he's all named after bosses. Uh, pro I think so, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty fun. I like this. How high do you have to go for a skill point here? Uh, I think we probably passed it, but you have to do it again for it to uh, register, so... Uh-oh. You have have egg. Yeah, he gives you an egg for this. Jerk. Yeah, this is my race you're keeping hostage. <laughs> I can't believe it. How did you get so good already? Who knows, someday you might even break my course record. Nah. Where's this anyway, go point? I guess I yeah, I think so. Egg I found. I was we probably already a beat a course record. Get it to hatch. Dude, Hunter was trying to raise one of the dragons as his own. Ew. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, what the heck? He bubbles. <laughs> So I, I always uh, start this by just doing um, like five um, spins in, in this part. I messed oh. up. Uh, but uh, uh, what's your uh, uh, like in, in regards to like comparing this to the motorcycle from Crash Free? Uh, would you, uh, just like, would you say you prefer this or uh, this more or that? Hmm? Talking, talking to me or Jason? J uh, Jason, because, uh... What's again? Uh... Big gulp. Ooh. Yeah, big gulp. Uh... Well, motorcycle you... versus skateboard? Motorcycle versus skateboard, yeah. Skateboard. Oh. You prefer the skateboard? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's also over with pretty quickly. Yeah, I if it, it, it feels like it feels better to control as well. I think. Like um, when I think about and when I when I think about uh, the uh, I also think about the you know what I also think about. What's up? Relic. I mean, uh -huh. yeah, that too. Yeah. Relic. It doesn't help that I honestly, I honestly think the mo motorcycle is worse in N Sync Trilogy. Uh, wait, Orange Crush, isn't that the soda? Yeah. I think it's a reference to the soda. Yeah. And, right. yeah, you know the band Crush 40? They are actually named after the soda. Yeah. Yeah, I think the reason is like, um... um I, I, I think some of them are also based on if you do it off like a certain ramp. Yeah. Uh, but, um... Uh, try a bunch of front forward, try a bunch of, like, front right cuts. Like, hold up and right. I'll try this first. Yeah, because I usually, like, move the, the control stick in, like... A sideways, like a, um... What's it? Woo! Oh, that was close. <laughs> I still haven't gone to skill point. Okay, that was bad. That wasn't enough. I'll be right back. But yeah, the, this is... Sparrow 3 and Crash 3 ha uh, sh have a, share a lot of similarities. Like, in the sense that they both have, like, m a lot of uh, unique gameplay styles and stuff. And there we go. Right. Right. And now let's just have some fun. <laughs> for, the, for 15 seconds, if we can reach it in time. Okay. Huh? And that is a steep course record. Yeah, I can promise you it's not the same music. 
Oh, uh, mm.